What is up, guys? This is D-Rock over at One Hive 2.0 slash Invicta with your next war recap. And we got an interesting one to go over today. So obviously this is the uh, the clan that modded against us. Um, so we did lose, um, but we had a, a pretty good war. I'm pretty proud of us. We, you know, we never gave up, um, and we brought some amazing attacks to the table. Um, they had eight Town Hall 10s. We had three. Um, two of theirs were 9.5s, but still max troops. Um, and we're going to be showing five attacks this war. Um, so we have three Gohos, an HGH, and an AQ Walk, so some pretty cool stuff to show. Um, and the first one was our boy Filthy taking on their one of their 9.5s. This 9.5 base has a level 40 Queen, a level 30 King, and some Zap Walls. So very upgraded. Um, and even more impressive that he was able to pull up three stars. So he starts his shatter. The funnel's created. He stag he puts in his wall breakers and then staggers another golem behind to reinforce the already two tanking golems. He needs to push into the base deep as he can because those queen that queen and king and that CC are going to devastate um, a few of his his uh, his golems. So the poison's down to soften up the balloons and the dragon. The queen's going in, taking out those. King, very nicely um, patient on that so that he doesn't get caught up in the action uh, of the CC. Triggered one set of double bombs, and at this point he's already started his surgical hogs. So starting at 6 o'clock, he moves up, puts a heal to make sure he doesn't lose any of those hogs, um, and then works counterclockwise around the base. Or actually clockwise, excuse me. So he's already used two heals, so I'm not sure if he was early on that first one or that second one. Um, he lost, that was the other set of bombs, so all the bombs have been triggered. He did lose a, a, a few hogs there, but because there are no more bombs and he came in at the right angle with the kill squad, he was able to destroy the rest of the base without needing um, any other heals. So he does have those pesky skeletons to deal with at the end of the raid, but he has just enough firepower to, or just enough hog power to um, take out the, the remaining defenses. So as this, the hogs go up to that last Tesla, they're going to turn on these skeletons. The queen's still up doing her cleanup work that she usually does. He has, he's smartly dropped some wizards at the bottom to take care of the, that trash at the bottom where his hogs do not finish. Um, and at that point, it is just cleanup, so I'm going to fast forward here. But um, very impressive attack to, for any Town Hall 9 to take out a 9.5, especially when those heroes are so highly upgraded. So great job, Filthy, and keep it up, buddy. All right, the next attack we have is by our buddy Freddy, um, taking on number 10 with a Goho with some Valks. So... He brought up Shattered, and a lot of our guys are starting to do this now. Um, so on the right bases, instead of bringing three golems, um, people are bringing a couple, a few Valks to replace that. So they end up taking trash buildings out on the way instead of just being tanks. Um, so very, very clever use of the space there. Instead of an extra golem, he brought the, the Valks. Wall breakers go in to let the golems in into that first compartment and then doesn't hesitate, drops that jump and then drops the king and the Valks. So they're going to go in. That Lava Hound is going to be pretty much useless on this raid. I believe it does pop because the queen gets target on it um, but doesn't end up infect, uh, affecting the raid. The heal goes down there for his kill squad so they don't um, die that quickly. I think maybe he could have got a little bit better value from a rage there, but um, I'm not exactly sure. So the hogs go, go in, and they, he's going to do his counter or his clockwise motion around the base. Um, very, very nice with the, the hog deployment. I thought, you know, maybe a little bit early on these, the, 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 the 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock hogs. Could have waited a little bit longer for the original hogs to meet up, um, but didn't end up making a difference. I love the pathing and the single trigger of that that other bomb set because it ended up saving all of his hogs from becoming bacon. Very nice on that. And now at this point, he only has two defenses left, and that is not going to be enough to stop this hog train. 
He does have his Queen's ability, so he pops that to get those archers and the additional power involved. But at this point, it is cleanup, so I will fast forward because we have a lot of attacks to go through. Um, and I don't want to waste any of you guys' time. But yeah, very nice attack. I, I like the, um, the approach to it. And anytime you have these max level walls and max level bases and you're able to 3 star and anti 3 star base, um, it's nice. So good job, Freddy. Keep it up, buddy. Um, 14. Now we have Whistle hitting um, with a Goho. And he brought Vouts as well. So a very similar army comp to what Freddy, what we just showed for Freddy. Uh, but he comes in from the 9 o'clock region. He uses one Valk to destroy some of those trash buildings, which I thought was very clever. Um, and he even figured out the pathing, so the Valk ends up meeting up with the, the rest of his cleanup. Um, wall breakers go in. One golem routes, the other golems coming to meet them. And then he's going to drop the remainder of his Valks to clean up some of that trash. Um, wall Behound comes out of the CC. King is now deployed. One double set of, uh, of bombs is triggered, so very nice on that. Uh, a heal for his kill squad. King's already engaged on the queen, so he takes her out. He's not going to survive that long, but he did his job, and now it is just the hog deployment time, starting at 10 o'clock, working uh, clockwise around the base, Used one giant smartly to tank. This was a cleanup attack, so he knew that there was a Tesla there and there's a lot of DPS coming in. Um, and the remainder of the hogs get put down. Heal on the last set of group, and he still has a heal in the bag. So I believe he saved it for this left. Yes, he saved it for the last section of this base. Um, and does he use the poison? I can't remember. Yes, yeah, poison goes down. Great use for it because all of the skeleton traps and the pups from the lava hound just sneak their way into that perimeter and start melting. So at that point, it is clean up, and the hogs don't have to worry about cleaning up those pesky skeletons, and the queen doesn't have to worry about the pups. So it is just clean up. He still has his queen's ability. He's gonna fade her up pretty soon to get the uh, the the damage and the archer bump. But it is just clean up time. Absolutely wrecked that base. Good job, Whistle. Alright, uh, next attack is the HGH. And it was yours truly hitting their leader, which I was actually very happy about that I was able to come, up, come away with this because I just wanted to stick it to them. Um, but I wanted to take out that one mortar with my balloon at the beginning because it was going to impact my pathing at the end. But... Um, the healers go down with the level 7 giants out of the CC. I have a minion at both ends of my funnel to cheaply get those. I have a uh, wizard creating or helping with the funnel. Those level 7 giants are going to eventually eat through the wall, so I didn't want to waste any wall breakers on that. Rage up the giants. Rage up the, uh, the, the, the healers so that they give additional um, heal to the giants, even with that queen banging on them. Um, King does take a walk, but it ended up not hurting me in the end. Thank God. He ends up taking on that King. Lava Hound comes out of the CC. Uh, not a big deal because the healers here are going to start targeting on the Queen. And it won't be um, that Lava Hound and the pups are not enough damage to take her out. Um, I dropped my heal. Smart, uh, very nice because I, didn't, the, I suspected there were going to be heavy Tesla's up top since all the air defenses were down south. Um, and then I just did my hog deployment. So I wanted to go counterclockwise around the base, wanted to trigger these bombs one at a time. So I knew that there was probably a set right here and I only wanted to trigger one at a time. So luckily they did not go through both of them at the same time. And I was, um, aware enough to drop the poison right before drop. I still had my giants up for, for cleanup, and I still had um, my queen, you know, still being healed. So, absolutely crushed it, um, and it is cleanup, so cheers to me. Boom goes the data bag. Good job, self. Alright, last attack we're going to show is an AQ walk, um, and this is the, oops, wrong attack, 
It is Craze on 27, and he comes from 6 o'clock with his queen and two healers. I love that he only used two healers here because he realized that only one defensive unit is going to be targeting the queen at a time, and you do not need three healers to take care of that. So, uh, very smart choice and good scouting on Craze's part. I'm going to fast forward two times a little bit on this part because it's going to take the queen a little bit of time to clean up some of that trash. But she's going to work her way down and is where he wants to break into the base is down here. So he knows that the queen is going to be coming down eventually and he doesn't want her to stray anymore. So he starts creating that side of the funnel. One thing I would say about this attack and he didn't realize it was the way this clan castle came out with the perimeter. They're going to target right on that queen. Um, he smartly adjusts his plan and uses the ability right away to take care of those balloons and that dragon as quickly as possible so that his queen can stay up. Um, the witches go in. They were supposed to uh, distract the, the dragon and the loons, but that didn't end up need, uh, being necessary. And then as soon as the, the queen and the clan castle is taken care of, he wastes no time and starts his hog appointment. Um, so he uses two heals pretty quickly out of the gate because of that um, double bomb spot that wasn't a double bomb, it was just single bombs. Um, wasn't sure about that, if that base had a double bomb it could have been a lot more dangerous for his hogs. Um, but he uses his last heal smartly over those last defenses and at this point it is just clean up because that Tesla is about to go down, the air defense cannot shoot ground troops. So it is over. He has clean up Wiz on the bottom. His queen's up Wiz, which is as well. Um, so absolutely crushed his base. Killer attack craze. I'm hoping to have more of these attacks to show you guys. Um, I'm really interested in them. I might even try one out this war. Um, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, this is D-Rock signing off. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed that recap as much as I enjoyed giving it to you guys. Because... Um, we really stepped up, even though we lost, um, we're keeping our chins up and on to the next. Alright, cheers guys.